Hey, y'all, what's up? What's up? Welcome to the Teachers Off Duty Podcast. And listen, the holidays are here. So you know what that means. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the deep, dark truths about what goes on before the holidays or during the holidays. And we're going to be talking about stuff like elves on the shelf, classroom chaos, and holiday parties. You don't want to miss it. Tune in. What's going on, educators? What's going on? This is the Teacher Off Duty Podcast, the Board Teachers Comedy Tour Takeover. We're back once again with another wonderful month of great teacher conversation. That's right. And we have some beautiful people with me. Who is me? Casey Mack. That's who. Thank you guys for coming back and joining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. One or two people in staff meeting that can't sit next to each other because we're getting in trouble. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to hold it in, but it wasn't working. <laughs> I <tried> to, <laughs> Look, I tried to muscle through it too. That's why I started speaking faster. In other words, we have a little bit. Okay, sorry. I'll, I'll, Don't make me move bring your seats. Do not make I'm me sorry. move I'm your sorry. seats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's your man, KC Mac, man. And who do we have here again? Familiar faces. You know them, you love them, man. Honest teacher vibes. I thought you were gonna let me introduce myself. Go ahead. Why are you saying it like that? Just... <laughs> I'm happy I'm, to I'm, see you. I'm honest teacher vibes. And this guy right here. Listen, listen, real quick before he tells you your name. This guy right here. We was talking about it. This is my dude. He's been a guest before on the podcast. Has one of the most popular reels with eight million. Mm. Over eight million. Because you said million. two million oh, at I first. He's like, first. no, it's eight. Hey, yeah, he's like, no, uh, put some respect on my name. It's actually <laughs> eight million. <laughs> put some respect are. on my name. Jay Yoder in the house, back. I'm excited. Yeah, hey, I like the Jay Yoder in the house. Yeah, oh, he's playing around. That sounds like a TV show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> you had the, the dude over the fence. What was oh, what well, was that home yeah, improvement? That was home improvement. My mine probably would be called uh, Casey Mack in the apartment because that's <laughs> all I can afford right now on the teacher salary. <sighs> Even though I'm not teaching, it's still a, <laughs> still the same salary. Casey zero Mac. plus zero equals teacher salary. That's what that is. Nah, but man, this is a uh, man. We're back again, and man, it's close to the holidays time, and it is man. This is that Ooh. time. You can it tell. Is that it's that time. time. It's, it's, it's real. Two things are happening. One, uh, we as the tour, you know, takes this little hiatus a little bit. It gives us time to spend time with our family. Uh, our educators that's on the tour allows, allows them to actually now focus and finish out strong the, the last semester. I know, Jay, you're doing your thing. Honest, you're doing your thing, man. Chaos getting it in ready. the air. It's chaos <laughs> in the yeah. air. Man. But it's really cool. So, like, so like again, you guys, this is your time also to save your little coins. Or oh, actually, because it's the holiday, tell your loved ones, you know what you need to be gifted with? You know what you want would be the perfect gift? Tell them what they want. Tickets to the Board Teachers Comedy hey. Tour. That's right. In 2024, we have so many dope states we're going to be visiting. We cannot wait to see you. I'm telling you, it's going to be spectacular. If you haven't been already, this is the gift you need. We're going to be in states like Maine, Massachusetts, Texas, Florida, Vermont. New York State, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. So listen, tell Period. those people that you need this gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good information. That was really, really, really good. <laughs> I, I'm not, that done was slapping. Because I believe gonna, it. I'm not you know, gonna lie. The was... best commercials are the ones you actually believe yeah. in. That's why. You know, hey. you could, you, 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 if we'll I didn't believe up. in it, this is what it would look like. Um, guys, so I guess we're going to be <laughs> on tour. So if you want a ticket, I guess, you know, we're going to be in um, a lot of places. Just... Look and see. You know, it's not, it's not passionate. You're can not I, believe it. Can I, that was kind of weird. Can I, I trade in all the $5 Dunkin' Donuts gift cards I get and, like, put them towards a ticket? Who is giving you $5 Dunkin' gift cards? I want uh, one. Uh, tons of kids. Hmm. That's, the, that's the number one thing. And if I drank coffee, it'd be amazing. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you don't drink coffee? No, I do. But I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I'd make it at home. I'm not going to Dunkin'. I'm, I don't have time. That I barely, I wake up in enough time to get to my class room before my principal catches me coming in the back door i'm just mm. late with the coffee like <laughs> i walk in coffee in hand, in hand late i was gifted with a uh, a gift card too it's so funny so we have a baskin robbins and a dunkin donut together 
Like oh. in the same. That's a bat that you in trouble. So America look, runs on Lipitor. I'm to, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so funny because I went right before, you know, um, the holiday. So mm. I wanted to try their, uh, what is it? Their Thanksgiving dinner ice cream. <laughs> I went to the Baskin Robbins. So it's a sweet potato ice cream. What? With, with cornbread chunks and oh. um, like a cranberry Casey, sauce. is this a this real like the thing? Dessert, this, is real. this is like the dessert gobbler. Is it Wawa? You know they have the turkey gobbler Man, sandwich. Man, Wawa. I got no. food poisoning from there. This is Try. ice cream, guys. Casey, is this real for real? Real talk. It's real ice cream. Matter of fact, I, took it, I, I did a real. This? I did a real about it because I had to try How it out. How can you not throw up? Did you try it? So listen, yes, I, I tried it. Now, you know, as educators, we have to, you know, be. I feel like we should still be great in everything. So if I had to give that <laughs> that that holiday dinner ice cream, <laughs> with the sweet potato ice cream again. That you had for cornbread, breakfast. Yeah, cornbread. <laughs> it was. <laughs> cornbread, aka, and then the, the little um, cranberry sauce swirl, little surfy swirl. Yeah. And if you tried it in the audience, let me know, because this is this was my honest opinion about it. I think I gave it a, I gave it a C. Are you kidding me? I gave it a C. Who is eating ice cream? You're a serial killer, because no. why are you eating ice cream with cornbread on? It's like a sweet little cake. I don't know. Cornbread cake. That whole thing sounded disgusting as you were describing it. I was literally sitting over here trying not to throw up. Yeah, I, 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 they're like capitalizing on this time of year because there are like foods. I was talking about this with a friend. Do you have foods that like at Thanksgiving you have to have on the table? Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. one thousand. Oh my gosh, one thousand. I, I have like three requirements of stuffing from inside the turkey. Yeah. How do you feel about we that? We do dressing, yes. but. So, but it's got to be inside the turkey. Yeah, that's stuffing. That's then dressing. Dressing on the top of the you stove. You got to have like grand stuffing biscuits, inside of the grand Yeah, I was biscuits, like, we don't have to put Yeah. And cranberry sauce, but it has to be in the shape of a can. Yes. 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 All is to say I grew up poor. That's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> that bread that we were going to run out of because it was going stale, we stuffed it in the turkey. Some, somebody yeah. brought some like homemade cranberry sauce to like Thanksgiving. We kicked them out. They couldn't come in. Get this garbage out yeah, of here. Where right. the, bring, the 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 bring the can. Bring the can. Bring the can. You're giving us chunky cranberry <laughs> soup. Bring the can. I don't want no real cranberries. Look, Bring the can. Out of all the culinary uh, uh, dishes that you can create and make on your own, I get it, DIY. But make cranberry, cranberry sauce, sauce should not be one of them. I don't know why it they never did comes that. Out right. I don't know why they did Just that. Just get the ocean spray gelled cranberry Does sauce. Does your school do the Thanksgiving lunch? They that was do. Like a big and deal normally, for us. I ain't going to lie, the Thanksgiving lunch in my school, the rest of the lunch be nasty, but the Thanksgiving lunch That's was kind of busting. It'd be yeah, busting, busting. It was good. Bus. You got kids that <laughs> don't even normally get a tray that was getting tray. Because some kids, like, they'd be like, I don't want a tray. Everybody, the line was backed up. I'm talking about lunch went over by 20 minutes on uh, Thanksgiving dinner day. Everybody it's was great. Well, our best buddies program does a thing where they do like a crock pot lunch where they teach mm -hmm. some of the kids how to make some of the recipes mm -hmm. and then they fill like the uh, the auditorium with a big line and everybody mm -hmm. just comes through. Sound like a pot look and I ain't hitting that. Because you all. know the school lunches you, and you know because you talk about it more than anybody. They they can't serve certain things but yeah. they can get away with it if they're... Oh yeah because right. it's about... That's, that's cool how we though, get that through they it. teach them how to make it. Yeah. Because I wish somebody would tell me how to cook. I burned an egg in a pot one time. I was boiling the egg. It popped out the pot. I, I forgot about it. No, the why? Sorry. I was like super random. Man. <laughs> it popped out. Wait, the egg just popped it out? Popped, but the, egg was like, the egg was like, well, she ain't going to take me out. I get out of my seat. <laughs> All the water left. I forgot For it was there. For the people there. who are listening and couldn't out. see what I just did, I acted like I was an egg jumping out of the you pot. You honestly looked like a fish out of water. He was like, it was more like, <laughs> it was more like a closed in like leap. It was like a <laughs> leap. That's my favorite thing about Thanksgiving because there's no presents. Like now it's like we have like when you get closer to like the holidays now, you got kids trying to bring in presents, which is like to me sometimes weird. Do you have do you think it's weird for them to bring you I a don't pretzel? Know, because I feel like for Thanksgiving, well, all the kids will bring no, me cookies. For, for, all the kids bring me oh. cookies that he made at home. The oh, same I, kid, yeah. I want to wipe his nose on yeah. his sleeve. I'm like, are you serve safe certified, bro? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I just want to know who made these cookies. Right. I think. need the evidence. Give right. me the recipe. They're like I in some like old like sewing tin that they mm. came in. Like I don't know if they cleaned that. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's certain kids like yeah, they brought some food in. I'm smashing it. Like some kids, because I know <laughs> yeah. like some kids. I don't know if you put some in there. So Look, like, thank you. All these things are just talking about the craziness in school. During the holiday time, it and matter crazy. of fact, that is the subject of this episode. I just love how that's how you could tell, like, man, uh, uh, we do this thing for real because we can just go on and on for hours and hours about well, minutes and minutes, according to the camera time, but <laughs> <laughs> minutes and minutes. Break it down. <laughs> Teachers are about specific. the craziness of of this the holiday and all the stories that come you know along with it. Crazy. So this episode is about the dark truth.
uh, about teaching before or around during the holidays. It's chaos. So we just had Thanksgiving uh, pass and all that good stuff. And we have the dreadful, it should be happy times, but it's not. The it's dreadful, not. <laughs> so the sad. dreadful holiday. The holidays at school. First of all, we don't do kids like, are we having a party? Bro, we got three weeks of school left. No, we, we're not partying for three weeks. Like, you just partied at home for Thanksgiving. Like, is we got a test. You're not going to give them a party, though? Not one? No, we don't do parties. Either. Man, that's a free day. No, we, there are no free days in life, kid. No, nah, you, you <laughs> hey, if y'all get the party, I get to chill. Yes, party, no, we definitely don't do, party. We don't do, they, they explicitly told us in an email, we don't do, we don't do holiday parties. What? You don't, we can't, we, we're not allowed to do that. Because they say it just brings chaos. Like, there's no there's no structure to the day. Kids all in and out of class. You know, it's a lot of stuff that pops off when there ain't no structure. Like That that right there would just make me cry. It did. And I guess cried what? already. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> please don't turn that yeah. into that was, that was, Please do not turn that into real, because that was horrible. That was one of the worst jokes I've ever heard you say. If y'all turn that into a song. real, if y'all turn that into a real, I'm unfollowing. You remember the song? I'm unfollowing. You don't remember the song? Yes, I know the song. That's why that was a terrible. Say the song. It's my party. Okay. I can't cry Brian if I want to. Okay, she knows. You. Never mind. Grow up. Grow okay, up. maybe it's not a good real thing. Yeah, the that was terrible. Those, <laughs> those kids are the same kids whose but parents want a whole month of the birthday for themselves. <laughs> That's why they want to party all month. Because the their mom's year. the same one who wants their birthday celebrated all month. Who's who oh, yeah, kid's yeah, yeah. birthday celebrated all month? Oh, dude, I know plenty of friends of my wives and stuff like that. When they do, they're like, it's my birthday month. Let's party for a whole month. <laughs> Imagine being so obnoxious. You know <laughs> like, I mean? bro, like, he's born on one day, not the whole month. Not all that's one a day. But the party thing, I, as a world language teacher, I get around that because I'm making cultural <laughs> comparisons. We're bringing in foods from the region. We're like, yeah. you just have to get creative yeah. with I can't how even, you have a party. I can't even think about like parties because we have like, we have eight, eight days, eight school days until the kids do their benchmark testing. Yeah. Because I'm a, I teach sixth grade ELA. And so I like when you're a state tested subject teacher in middle school, like you just I've been hyperventilating for like three weeks because yep. I'm like, please, don't please try on the test. Like I'm not above bribery, but I'm like <laughs> some kids like they come in and they're not going to try. So like you feel toward the end, like the holidays is stressful and it's chaotic. But part of the reason is because of the end of term testing. Like it, it is it's a stressful time. Like the kids don't care because they know they're about to get out of school for break. You stressed out and you pressure high because you need their scores to That's you right. know be decent. But it's it's the the testing thing is one of those things where it's kind of like it just is like a give and take because I'm like I did my job as a teacher to make sure that I prepared you for the test and that not only did I prepare you for the test but I taught you the information. But it's still kids that like they make a twelve and I know that you made a eighty five on the test. The first benchmark, so, like, did you just not feel like it? And they'd be like, nope, I didn't feel like it. And I'm like, I would rather you didn't tell me the truth. But they're like, but, like they, but they're like, they should get extra credit because they scored a, a 12 deliberately to represent, <laughs> I did that on to represent the 12 days of Christmas. I, okay, that one was good. That's a real. Hey. <laughs> 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 Hey, that one's good. Okay, I'm gonna need you to figure out a way to call, do a call back to that because that was funny. <laughs> Jay's like, that was actually terrible. That was funny. Jay, don't be a hater all your life. <laughs> oh my, that's a long time. Oh my, that's a long time. No, the kids know because I saw a kid, I was doing like call duty during testing, and Ugh, uh, a kid submitted the test in like oh. two seconds. So then the principal comes up, pulls him out. And uh, the kid just looks at me. He's like, "Yeah, but it's not like I'm getting a grade for it." <gasps> and he just like, and oh my God. and you could tell like there were no chips to be played at that part because the sad reality was that there was there was true. There's nothing they could do on that. The principal's hands were tied in that, but all he could do was oh, they don't get a grade the, for their not for what they get on those benchmark tests. It doesn't affect their right, actual right, right, right. class oh, ours, grade. Ours does. So but they, have a, like, they have a, it's just a, they have a, a thing that curves it. So like whatever percentage they get correct, it still curves the grade to where it would match, yeah. you know, whatever grade they did uh, in class. But I mean, I have a lot of like individual conversations with my students and I have a lot of like, we have like some family time. You're setting type. culture. Yeah, we got yeah, like some family time type discussion. So like I always tell my kids, like if you do the best that you can do on the test, like I'm not, I'm not going to be upset, but I've been a teacher 
all school year long, I know what you're capable of doing. I've seen your growth. I've seen how hard that you've worked. And some kids like genuinely have test anxiety. Like, right. and so I know my kids that have test anxiety. I know, you know what I'm saying? Some of the like strategies and stuff that I, that I need to teach them. But like some kids, like they legitimately, they hum, they're human. Obviously, like I don't want them to bomb the benchmark because they're going to say something to me about their test scores. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. But I have the type of relationship with my kids where I can go to them and be like, hey, so, like, what was up on this day? Like, you was good? And they'll be like, I ain't get no sleep the night before. Honestly, Ms. Richardson, like, I'm be 100. I just didn't try. Like, if you got good relationships with your kids as far as, like, testing and getting them to try and stuff, kids will try for teachers they like is all I'm saying. But, Transparency. Yeah, they'll try for teachers But they here's like. the thing, though. Like, you really expect them. I think the, the way they schedule that testing period is just it's, crazy. It's anyway. terrible. Because yeah. this is already the time, like I said, during the holidays it's where terrible. they're already bouncing off the it's walls. Terrible. They're just, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. don't want to be there. It's, it's hard. Yeah. And, but you want them to sit down and focus yeah. and actually give their all in this test. And yeah. I get it. You can put it, you know, push it the, the down their throats all day and every day how important it is. Because it is mm-hmm. important, you know. It now, is. They need that data. But at the end of the day, it's still like you're trying to get – a uh, a hamster to stop running on the wheel. Yeah. It's like say, hey, don't don't. I need you to. Yeah. And I mean, I have like a love hate relationship with the test. I'm gonna be 100 with you because I sat down. Like I gave my kids a practice test the other day, and I sat down and took the test, and I'm like, hey. Y'all expect sixth graders to be able? There's some high level thinking. You were that struggling y'all, on the test, I, bro. I was struggling. <laughs> I took it. I took it on purpose. Yeah. Myself without the answer key, nothing. I was like, bet. So my kids sat down, and took it. I sat down, I, and I don't take it before them. And you scored a twelve. Shut up, <laughs> Casey Mack. That was a terrible callback. That was ter- that was that was you know a woman's mad when they start putting their hand. That was terrible. That was not a good call. Yes, it was. <laughs> but no, I legit took the test and like I went to my press ball. I was like, hey, some of these questions on this test, like who wrote this? Because off in a box, whoever whoever wrote this test is on site when I see them. Because why are you asking this? Some high level thinking that you're asking a. 11 or 12 year old to do like we're yeah we're teaching them how to find the theme of a story a central idea how to be able to read a a passage or read a text and understand what they're reading we're like i don't i don't mind that kind of stuff but like some of the stuff on the test i'm like what was the purpose of you asking them this and then you put the most boring passages about like nothing that the kids are like remote not remotely interested in Mm -hmm. but we're taught to make sure that we do texts that like the kids are interested in but then why are they being tested on something that they they've never even seen this stuff before. Right. Well, there's, a cultural, no there's a cultural bias sometimes. To there is stories. a cultural bias. They're not bias seeing the kids' names sure. that are like their names. Right. They're not I, having the situations that are like. So when we see kids opt out because of uh, cultural differences, yeah. that there's a legit reason there. That's they not start a true reading representation. And like, bro, what is this? When it comes to teaching and engaging students, we know as adults, I'm not engaging. If you're talking about something that I don't care about at all, and I have to make myself, like professional development, I have to make myself (laughs) pay attention. You want the kids to pay attention to something that talks about the excavation of Wow. You know, dirt and the the worms and stuff that's underneath the dirt and the layers of crust of whatever. Like, bro, Makes you lost no me at the in the vocabulary that y'all using. This is I'm not saying that the kids don't need to be tested because you can't grow what you don't measure. Right. You, I do think they need to be tested, but the level of testing that they are required to do, the the pressure that is put on teachers for test scores. The the some of this stuff is like it's it's outlandish and it's detached from what's actually going on in the classroom. Let's be honest. At least those kids are showing up to take the test during the, those holiday times. You have during the mm-hmm. holiday times, you actually have kids that don't even show nah, up yeah, yeah. because they're already gone. Yeah, for sure. Like, no, nah, gone on vacation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're I'm already like, gone. Take me with you. Yeah. No, 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 no. There, <laughs> there. My issue is they come in. They're like, oh, can I get the work for next week? Because they're leaving a week early. I'm like, I baby. don't even know what we're doing next period. Yes, right. absolutely. Okay. 1, How about that? Like, baby, no, one day at a time. Okay, yeah. let's not get the cart ahead of the horse. That's right. And they're like, what? What does that mean? <laughs> like, it's a of language. <laughs> not pay attention to anything I taught you. The other side of the coin, too, is they're like the kids that get all angsty and off the walls before the holiday. People don't often talk about the fact that some of those kids aren't looking forward to the break because Absolutely. the school is their family. Absolutely. That is that safe Absolutely. space. You know what I mean? And those are the kids that when they go home, I hate that we don't them. know what they're going to have. So yeah. we do it like a lot of our schools have programs where you can pick up a backpack and mm-hmm. it's just a, it's a plain yeah. black backpack. Doesn't match anything. And before they go home on break, mm-hmm. it's filled with they Easy Mac. It's filled with all yeah. of those things. 
and that way they just put it on like it's yeah. their normal book bag. Nobody knows anything yeah. different. And then we know that kid's at least taken care of. If if nobody's at some. home, yeah. he can operate a microwave yeah. and we're good to oh, go. Yeah. Easy Mac, got you. Yeah. And some kids, yeah. I, you know you got that in your hotel room no, right now. I was like, hey, man, what are you talking about? I was like, they giving out Mac books. <laughs> this man said they giving out Mac books. Shut like, up, Casey. That's a great gift. Casey just could not be serious. Easy Mac. I know what that is now. I thought ramen noodles, that's the go-to. <laughs> Give them that cup of noodles, chicken. A kid told me the other day I look like I eat ramen noodle cups. <laughs> and then another kid was like, dang, Ms. Richardson, straight out the trenches. I was like, why are no. y'all bothering me, bro? Listen, I don't I don't uh, I don't like your kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was so one, of my, one of my kids the other day was like, hey, tell Casey Mack. Said he be doing too many because I showed the kids a clip of the podcast yeah. and they was like, Tell who is the guy sitting in the middle? And I, and I was like, That's KC. And they was like, Tell KC, he need my boy needs to stop all these hand movements and stuff, which is why I've been much. sitting like this. <laughs> I done let a little kid I don't give know me a what complex. To do with my hands. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> he like Ricky Bobby. He said, Tell, <laughs> tell he said, <laughs> He was perfectly serious. It was two class periods later. My boy came up to me again and said, hey, don't forget. When you film the podcast, we tell Casey Mack, all them hand movements. Stop. Like, I'm like this. I'm like this. I, I listen to kids. Sometimes they see something that we don't see in ourselves. Then they're rude as heck about how they go right. about it. You're right. Damn that little kid. There it is. Look, I'm playing the piano all day, sir. I don't even know your name, but look what I'm doing. I'm going to do this even when I'm not talking. What are you saying they, now, Bree? The kids just troll it. Like, they they laugh to stop looking at me like that. It's weird. It's for him, not you. Go ahead. No, Sponsored like, by the American Sign Language Federation. Oh, my gosh. Casey. <laughs> But he literally, like, he and literally he, was like, and and he, Casey Mack did his hammer. What, what did then, you say? No, and he said, my laugh. He Here's my laugh and his, <laughs> uh, his, his dreams or some stuff. <laughs> he, said, he said, hey, and tell Casey Mack. I mean, he was calling. He was saying, Casey. In. He said, tell Casey Mack that I hear this man's laugh in my sleep at night. I said, hold on. You're not going to talk about my brother like Damn, that. Too loud. Your, your neck been musty since first period. So don't <laughs> talk about my brother like that now. But, okay, but, you but that, part, that part, I be, I, sometimes I listen to my laugh and I kind of self cringe. So from now, for just for that, not just for him, but for myself, I'm going to change my laugh. So Absolutely I'm gonna, not. I'm going to try out different laughs. Abs please don't. Throughout the episode, <laughs> and we're going to see which one's going to stick. This, so there's this, that. this feels like the parrot episode. No. When you were. <laughs> don't you dare! Stop! Hey, what's the what's that guy's name? That that, that they, good one? the guy that did the interview, the NBA player. That man laughed with oh. so. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that man said. That man said. I mean, honestly, I don't even know where you sitting at right now. I was I could white something or whatever. I don't know. I don't was know. Was that Kawhi Leonard? I don't, I can't remember his name, but he sound is that who it was? My boy sound like he was in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that <laughs> that is horrible laugh. I was like, do you laugh like that in real life? I'm gonna try something on. Just say something funny, Stop. Jay. Say something funny. Uh, funny. Something funny. I got nothing. You know, read anybody. Your nose is shiny. <laughs> 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 Is that a good one? You sound like an injured animal. Stop. <laughs> I feel bad for whatever poor animal you were imitating. Your, your, your student got me having a complex now. I feel like I got to switch up my laugh. See, I don't know. why would you You'll let a 12-year-old make you have a complex? Yeah. Because sometimes they That's see a, I don't themselves. even know why I asked myself that question. Ask you that question because I do let a 12-year-old make me have a complex. Thank you. But no, for real, the holidays be like, the holidays mm. in school are crazy. And then it's certain teachers that like, they go all out decorating their door. I'm like, bro, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. And what you teach that you got time to decorate your door? Right. Because we getting ready for benchmark testing. What you doing? You've been <laughs> out here all day decorating your door. Listen, every year we have, they let our advisory classes decorate our door, right? Now, it's supposed to be just the kids that decorate it, right? right? Yeah. And it's a competition. Oh, gosh. And, and now, I ain't going to lie. The teachers are real competitive, so we actually be the ones really doing it. Right. Because we're trying to beat just each other. let the kids think they. I'm telling you, man. I have had the best door every competition. I need pictures now. And they have not given me one reward. They've been <gasps> cheating me the whole time. Disrespect. Whole time, man. Disrespect. So, they knew you were cheating. <laughs> I, I want to see a picture. Yeah. I need <laughs> proof. <laughs> <laughs> I need proof. Jay, we said it at the same time. Air five. 
You know what you're probably proof. right because they probably do see see me from the cameras yeah. in the hallway doing <laughs> taping and. <laughs> Dude, the teachers whose doors are like pristine. I'm like, I can never that daggum butcher paper. Like, I can never get. I'm like, how did you cut out like a perfectly seamless like I, rectangle on your door? Like, I'm like, how how are you? It's uh, from the big sheets. They already come. The I know, size but I'm door. saying like there are teachers that I'm like, did you use an exacto knife? Like, how are you getting there? There are no uncrispy edges. On your, yeah. these are fine edges on this. The roll where our paper came off of, it was exactly the perfect measurements for the door. From well, I'm talking know. about theirs, not be wrinkled or nothing, because we got, you know, they got like the window in the door. And yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta cut that piece. That's out. what, that's the part I'm, I'm saying. I'm a minimalist. That's the part that's I'm saying. Too, oh, Some of these yeah. folks, I'm like, this is like Chip and Joanna Gaines, pristine. Like, how are you? I want to see the evidence. Somebody drop a video in the comments because I want to <laughs> know how is, how does it look like this. I know. Well, half the Joanna room, Gaines. Their rooms like, look like Pinterest threw up all over it. It's crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it is. It's in, I don't have time for that. Wow, Jay. I feel personally attacked because my classroom does look like Pinterest threw up all over it. Wait a but minute. I'm not decorating my door for Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of decorations, how often, when should decorations come down? So everybody's decorating Wait, their door right come now. Down? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay's a, like that reindeer. That reindeer uh, outside of my classroom. It's like when you write jokes, you want to write an evergreen joke, right? right? You want to write a timeless joke. I'm making a timeless classroom. This thing can <laughs> exist in the world. It's inclusive. It's not celebrating a holiday. It's just celebrating. It's everywhere. It's June, and you still have the Grinch to stole Christmas decorations. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to teach you the theme of being honest. You have the little elf sitting over there on the shelf. You guys mess with the elf on the shelf? No. We had our principal actually dress up as the elf, and he used the like the truck that like they use for the high, and put himself on the roof of the school. So as the kids came in, he's just sitting by the sign to the elementary school as they like walk in. It's Can just, you imagine having to tell uh, what is what is it workers comp people that you right, were trying you to be the elf on the shelf and you fell off the roof? I probably, oh man. The minute Thanksgiving happens, I get like I get nervous now because then I know I'm committed for like a month now. To like moving this this doll, like what are we doing? Like what? Can't. This was not right. a thing when I grew up. It's like we can't keep our kids in check between Thanksgiving and Christmas. They're I like, can't. I'm, I can't do it because I feel like I'm scared of it. Like what? What if I feel like, <laughs> I'm, sc- doll, I feel like, like I'm scared? <laughs> now, I feel like I'm scared of it. Like them toys off Toy Story that just be moving themselves. Because if I wake up <laughs> and I have that doll in the kitchen and it's sitting on the dresser in my bedroom, just staring at the bed, who moved you? Because mm-hmm. my, my, my five-year-old is not tall enough to have moved you. But then what if she is the one that actually did move it and she got a lot? La- I ain't got time. My Too anxiety, much. the way we my came, anxiety We came up. back from vacation right after Thanksgiving and we like, I'm ripping apart the attic because we lost our elf. We can't <laughs> find our elf. And I'm or like, he went and hid so, because they can so move. So they're real. So it might be it might be true. <laughs> there might be a situation. So then my wife goes to buy one, but we they didn't have the same kind. So it was like the pet store that didn't have the right hamster after oh, your kid's no. hamster died. And so she was going to notice so then my wife wrote a whole letter explaining to my daughters serious that man the other elf chocolatey got covid oh no and now, not COVID. and now this elf was replacing oh. chocolate i'm like what are you doing why are you co-signing me to more lies that's so morbid it, it is <laughs> but he's going to be returning apparently once we find him but she was at the store looking and the first store didn't have any elves left all they had was nora the elf mm. that uh, nora the wolf that apparently the elf now rides on. Mm. Mm-mm. Wait so a minute, you got what? A, you got... That's like Superman needing a flying coach. I thought this uh, this elf had been <laughs> going to the North Pole. I mean, I mean, the only big guy they were interacting every night was this guy, mm. but they they thought. And they still but believe it. it a, they believed it. But it's a, so it is a wolf? It's or a wolf. It's that like you're this accessory. Kind of like how He Man had that thing he used to. You guys remember He Man? <laughs> he had that big tiger with the arm yes. reached around. This is that for for the elf. But do I your don't kids ha, ha, has it come out yet? Like, have your kids? So it's seen on the it? shelf. We didn't we didn't get the elf. I, we didn't get the wolf. But That's have, too much. Oh, y'all didn't get the wolf. Well, we just got the replacement elf. Okay, listen. I feel like at this time of year, as a teacher, you become like a little bit unhinged. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Like I, Definitely. there are things that like you know you kind of like let slide a little bit, and you're like okay. Mm-hmm. But then there's times where like you go off about something, and you're like ooh ooh. Uh, ooh, I did not. That was I shouldn't have got that upset about that. But it's like the end of the year. You're sleepy. Mm-hmm. You're tired. You stressed out about grades. Th- there's a lot going on. So like your 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 medicine that you take it it cannot it is not sturdy enough. 
to handle the stress of the end of the school year. My medication is not sturdy enough or to human. handle We're the, humans, the too. Next... We also have, like, vacations where we're yes. hosting for families. So like, stre- we have the, all of that other it stuff. It is so stressful toward the end of the semester. The slightest things irritate you. Slightest. You go off, like you just said, you Hair feel pain. bad for going off because you just yelled at the whole class and and you yelled and raised your voice and, and you just wasn't you just lost your professionalism. And then when they find out, well, what happened? What did they do? They blinked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, there's some teachers right now. They're at that stage. That's right. Did you breathe hard? <laughs> Get out of my room. <laughs> Dude, I heard a teacher one time say it was like it was like November. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I yelled at my kids for the first time ever. I was like, no, girl, I yelled at my kids. Right. Like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> or no, she said she raised her voice. She was like, I, th- I raised my voice for the first time the other day. And I'm like, you are like, you're such a good teacher because you're so stressed that you raised your voice in November. Girl, I've been raising my well, voice since before the kids ever I, got there. I raised my voice in July at my future students just because I felt like. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better sit down two months from now. Just, 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 so you're, just right. talking to, you're just talking to nobody. You're just talking to nobody. It's like a slow build. Well, the, Will Farrell used to have this SNL skit where he's like, boys, can you please get off the shed? Can you get, please get off the shed? And then he's like, I'm going to need you to get off the shed. For the love of God, I'm going to punch you in the face if you do not get off the shed. And then when you get to the... Oh, my gosh, Casey. To get, stop. Do not do new laughs. Like laugh. You just made me one? forget what I was about to I'm say. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Great job. I can't remember. It's too late now. Wait, I'm I can't sorry. remember. I'm sorry. Does this help you remember? Yeah. See, you know what? Air 5J. Listen, this guy's... <laughs> <laughs> guys this has got to stop no but like you know how like you ask the kids nicely like hey guys like i need y'all da, 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 da. nothing you get a little la- hey i said da, 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 da. <laughs> i'm telling you right now <laughs> i said and they're like i said sit down Dang, Miss Richardson, you ain't gotta talk to us like that. I asked you sixty-seven times. What's the dude's name from Shit's Creek? He said, I uh, have asked you thrice, thrice now to sit down. And they always forget like you ain't gotta talk to us like that. Look, <laughs> I can tell, I don't know if we'd be able to zoom in on that camera on that part, but when you started doing going through that, your little left eye was twitching. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Come down. Dude, I'm not ki- I'm not kidding. Like it is Especially sixth grade, the sixth grade hall right now. I'm like, it's just a revolving door of chaos. Right. I had an observation the other day, and I was like, listen, I'm just doing the best I can, man. Yeah, just like keep it together at, right at this now. point, and I'm one of those teachers. Like I, I, I am not a type A personality at all. But at school, I'm a type A teacher. Yeah. Like I am, um, lessons planned out, stuff printed out, scheduled out, text annotated already. Like I am a very like boom, 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 boom teacher. At, at school but when she came in for that observation i was like man listen <laughs> i'm just real. trying to make it cuz and they come into the class period that you already like by the by like the, the end of the day or right before lunch man That's what it listen is. <laughs> everything goes downhill after lunch i get quiet though when i get real like i get quiet and so with my end of the day or right before lunch if they see me go silent i just start doing one mississippi in my head and then every one i do is a second longer i hold them before they can go to lunch or they can leave for the day. No, uh-huh. you can't. You can only do these with like right before recess or right before the yeah, end of yeah. the day. But if they see me counting, they're like, "He's counting." And and it's like I just, that accountability. And then as soon as like, I get to ten, chill. I write it on the board, and they know yeah. they're waiting ten seconds Ayo, before I'll open that door. Right. That's like, but you can only do that with the periods right, right, where they're right. you know going. I to mean, something. do you not feel? Do y'all not feel like it, it, things go downhill after lunch? It's like, mm. it's like, it's okay. Like your first period of the day, like they kind of sleepy, but you know, but yeah, they trying, they're working. Second, third is the sweet spot. Yeah, Fourth, they're first, hungry. Okay. Yeah, it just, but at the, it's after like. After lunch, they still want to socialize. Then you have maybe one good period, depending on how many periods you have in your day. You okay. might have one good afternoon slot and then it's a dump. Okay, well, here's my question. As a matter of fact, I'm going to not only uh, ask you guys, but I want people in the comment section to answer this too, because I'm very curious to, know, to find out the answer. Wh- which would you rather have? Would you rather have a worse morning, like just the craziest morning, kid, everything going wrong in the morning, or the worst end of the day, like end around the, seven worst to eight end period. of the day, worst end of the day? I can't. We, I don't want to start off the day bad. Like mm. I don't. I rather. I need a little. I need something calm in the morning. Like I can do chaos at the end of the day, 
little cray cray in the morning. No, baby, we're not doing that up in here. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, part of me feels like here. if it happened in the morning, I just turned into Al Bundy. Like I'm just like resigned. I'm like, well, <laughs> I expected uh, I expected it to go this way. I so it's just turning into Al just, Bundy. Like, yeah, and I just like and I can just go into cruise control like mentally for the yeah. rest of the day. It would but, it would jack up. Yeah, uh, I. But I don't want it to go at the end of the day because then I'm I feel like I'm going to bring it home. That's what I said. That's what I was just about to say. I'd rather have it in the morning. Now I'm yelling at my kids. Right. Yeah. Right. For That's what? what I was about to say. I'd rather have it in the morning so that way yeah. I have all day to, to to decompress and unpack it. So by the time you know you're you're usually checked out about eighth period anyways. It's like, you know out. whatever. Do you hear me? Like you said, it's after lunch. Checked out. Everything is pretty. You just want to be able. So to I'm like get I understand home. the kids because by like the end of the day, yeah, I'm like. I'm tired. Yeah. Like, I just want to get home, so I don't want I don't want a bad end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like he said, because you're you're taking it home, that drive home. Now you just you know. Yeah. yeah, I feel like sometimes you know you start out like really strong at the beginning of the school year with like your rules and procedures and stuff, and then sometimes like you get like a little lax, bro. The when they come back from Thanksgiving break, that ain't the time to be lax. That ain't the time. Mm. Like it has to be my because I can't function in chaos. Like I know it is it's chaotic at the end of the school year, but or at the end of the semester. But I try to make it as L least chaotic as possible like i had two two kids that were getting in trouble in another class the last class for the day like sixth grade we all teach like the kid we, there's only one teacher per subject for yeah. like all of sixth grade and there were two kids and i was like they about to get in trouble they're in seventh period because that's like our um they have to do like i ready i don't know if y'all know what that is but it's I don't like it, um, but they, <laughs> it's it's essentially remediation like on the computer. But the kids just click through stuff. Like yeah. I don't anyway. I hope my district I don't get in trouble for saying I don't like I already. But I don't like that. Gym. It's pointless. So anyway, um, that these two kids that I knew like because their environment is important. Like because you can't go from like one chaotic environment to another chaos. Because sometimes the classroom itself is what causes the chaos. Like if you got a chaotic room, yeah. it's contributing to it. So I, 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 two of these kids, I knew they was going to get in trouble. As soon as they got to seventh period, I was like, hey, just come on. Come on. You bring your laptop. Do your stuff over here. Because, I mean, I have like Christmas lights and like light. Like I try to make my room like a calm space because i can't do chaos i got anxiety a lot of the kids have anxiety like uh, and that's one of the things too like you really see at the end toward the end is like not only are teachers like their mental health struggling the kids like people underestimate the amount of like mental health stuff the kids are going through mm -hmm. like they i know like behavior wise and stuff like that like they drive us crazy toward the end of the school year but the two kids i pulled i knew they was trying to keep it together but they they needed somewhere calm i was All like right. come on like, y'all y'all need to come to my room and just chill. Because yeah. the kids, like, some kids, they cannot function in that kind of chaos. And I and I know every teacher, you know, some teachers, like, they don't, just don't have good classroom management. Like, it, it just is what it is. Well, if you don't and set so, a culture, yeah, if you don't set a culture. Right. So if your classroom is chaotic, it lends, chaos lends itself to more chaos. And so for those, and I mean, obviously I can't do that every day. Like they have to be in the class that they are supposed to be in. But that, you know, as a teacher, you use your discretion. Well, you know when you can. They needed a break. Yeah. I was like, oh, you just just take a deep breath and, and, and calm down. It's Christmas lights on, a little coffee shop vibe up in here. But if you, but if you have that, like you said earlier, like you're that type, you're not that type A person. But when it comes to school, oh yeah, like it, I would, it would, it would shock my students that I was a comedian. Like it would because when really? I'm there, when I'm there, I'm like I'm cracking, but I'm more like cracking like dry jokes to make sure they're paying attention. Like uh -huh. I'll say something outlandish in the middle just yeah. to see if they if twitch. Like you know, to just be like, did, did he just say that? Yeah, give us like, example. Uh, like, I, I don't know, I'd be saying, like, well, for example, you know, the Romans originally started as a monarchy, but at some point they decided that uh, they wanted to go to a theocracy, which really just means that they were going to use the word the every other sentence. You know, I would say something stupid. Like, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be like, Stop. But, like, I would do I'll, something. I'm going to leave. But when I'm in the classroom, I'm the teacher. I'm, like, I'm this, like, nerd that, like, is teaching them. You know, I'm I sorry. play too much. Like, I give up. Yeah, please stop. Like, just your do your regular kid, laugh. Yeah, Tell I, him, bugger off. It's a lot of regular. pressure trying to change for a kid. Yeah, please don't change. Don't change your laugh. Just keep, no, but just keep your. I'm then a, you got to hold it. But then sometimes it's hard to hold in the laughter if somebody says something good. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like especially like there's just sometimes there'll, there'll be a good comeback or there'll be something you're just like. 
and you got to hold that poker face. I'm telling you, I had to. Son, there have been times I had I didn't have to just step right on out the door and one foot in the classroom, one foot outside the classroom, so I could just bust out laughing because I don't mm-hmm. want to laugh at you in front of the kids because he shouldn't say what he said, but you came for him first and I told you leave him alone, that- and now he just. Flamed you to sleep. I write it down. I'm, I, I do write it down. It goes I'm into like, my that'd be joke good book. for a set. That's that'd it be goes good into for my a joke set. <laughs> but I, I, that's why I'm like, we're teachers are human too. I'm like, hey, that was kind of funny. As we, like, we all get to think about putting on a movie sometimes, and like, yeah. you know, but hey. never would I ever at my school. Oh my gosh, we doing holiday it. time. Oh my gosh, absolutely not. My oh. old school, maybe. My new school, baby, a movie better not be playing. Uh, uh, no, it better happens. not say movie on your board. Dude, I'll just put the movie on, but then I'll put it in Spanish. Uh, the, so yours is a part of your lesson. On, mm. Then the, the, the principal will walk in, I'll pause it, and I'll start going off on the etymology of the word. I'll be like, not the well, etymology. Let's, let's parse this noun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, that's dude, dope. teachers and, and are they'll, And they'll get all crazy, at, and they know, they know that they better be putting their hands up. You better have your back. You better you have know, my back. Right hand, you know the answer. Left hand, you don't. Both if you can't tell the difference between your right and left because I ain't calling on you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, why do they have their hands raised, Mr. Yoda? Because they just love my They're class so much. They're actively engaged. Uh, it's an uh, environment where we're both- giving agency to the students, okay? Why is both of his arms up? I told him to air it out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, told please don't. Air please it don't. Out. Get actually, them pits a little circulation. <laughs> our, yo, our, gym, our gym right now has like the scoreboard and on the side, it has in the middle school, like it has like be positive, be respectful, use deodorant. No, uh-uh. <laughs> I swear to God. Not y'all calling the kids out, use deodorant. <laughs> oh. It's the truth, though. You know, you know. Oh, for sure, That's for sure. I'm like, how like your a, neck musty, though? Like, like I an just Italian ain't hoagie by the end of the day. No, I stiff arm kids so hard when they try. Hey, they say, the handbook say we can't touch y'all, y'all can't touch us. Skirt. Wait, let me ask you this. I don't know why little buggies be jumping from you to me, so stiff armed. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you guys do a countdown to break? That's what I was about to I ask. I do you. a countdown to benchmark testing because <laughs> <laughs> I got anxiety well, about it. Well, what about the party? Do y'all we count don't down? have no, a no. party. You don't have a staff party either. Oh, oh I staff! I don't. Oh, I don't we. Do. I love our staff party. We have professional development this year after the kids leave. No, I'm like, who the? No, never. Wait, like the last. We got the professional no. development. No, the two days after the kids leave and i gotta you mean you have two personal days coming up man because i'm saying i'm like i don't need i ain't taking i'm about to take some of that time no don't give us professional development give us a party we ain't got no party if you're gonna give us a pd it better stand for a party damn it you just spit all over that mic (laughs) we need a new mic mic. it's his mic is that your mic? Yeah. It's not now yours. It no, it is now. <laughs> this belongs. Uh, There's not, uh, there no uh, wetness there. Uh, okay, see. Do a new laugh now because of that. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, you, should, you need to seek so medical nasty. attention. Yeah. Right, that sounded like I was. <laughs> you need to go to urgent care. <laughs> sound like my. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, I thought we was just sitting at a restaurant hanging out talking. I forgot we was recording something. (laughs) (laughs) We all had to do the podcast, aren't we? Hold on, wait a minute. No, we have great staff parties. I will say, I because I I think that's important because after it's all said and done, you need camaraderie. Absolutely. The building needs to come together. And if it's like playing rock band at somebody's house, that was used to be the thing. I'd bring rock band when I was like, and we'd hook it up to somebody's TV and you'd see like, is that Mr. Davis jamming on the drums? Like what's going on over there? Because you get to see even your colleagues who like, you know, we're so, we are so stressed. And even, at least in Pennsylvania, even the teachers like specialty area teachers Mm -hmm. who aren't teaching the benchmark our profile, like our uh, end of the year evaluation, mm-hmm. portions of it is based on how they do on the benchmark test because really? we need, yeah, because in theory, you want to build a culture where we're all helping them with the test. So then, even within my own language, we had developed time where we could come up with things we could do. Well, we'll do mm-hmm. some, we'll do some math problems in Spanish as a warm up one day to review numbers. Wow. And then that way we're, we're like that continuity. We're, we're, yeah. yeah. We're, so that was the, the idea behind it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's plenty of people that say, well, I'm the chorus teacher. Why am I getting observed on how their sixth grade ELA teachers doing? But, that is but so, but how would they, how I'm not understanding the integration though. Like how I, I don't, I'm so not there's just a portion of it. That's just based like what, however our school scores or however, the percentage you does goes on to the record of everybody because in theory we're all we're all a part of it. Interesting. It is. I mean, it was a big debate in Pennsylvania when that it happened. That is interesting. 
I mean, it, I will put pressure created, on non-tested but, but because, subjects to like. Well, yeah, because otherwise, like, I get it as a specialty area teacher. Like, I, I would also like I could understand like my friends who are English teachers. Mm, like, they're yes, you know, yes, it's yeah. not just their job on the line. Like, I'm over here like teaching the cha cha fourth period, not and you're cha-cha. over here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the cha cha, that's our favorite dance at the Christmas party. Speaking of Christmas parties, do y'all do Secret Santa? It's a snowflake uh, exchange. You can opt in. You don't have to do it, but you can opt in. And like mm. the, they used even some kind of website to help everybody kind of register if yeah, they yeah. wanted to and then randomize. Somebody, somebody's get. list had a MacBook on there. Oh, I'm like, bro, no. what kind of? This better be a joke. It better be a five and better, below. That's how you be I'm going a- <laughs> a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a, a tape some easy Mac on a book. Will you say yeah. what? <laughs> No, but like you, yeah, I, we call I, I, you bring elephant. a gift and then you do the exchange where you like you get to pick one and then if you like it, you keep it. But then somebody who has an open one can like steal I it. I love that it. game. Like if we did that at the Pete, staff it party, it gets heated though. It does get <laughs> heated. You took those Bath and Body Works towels that I wanted oh, or those yeah, Bath yeah, and Body yeah. Works oh, candles yeah, yeah, that I yeah. wanted. Oh, we get some smoke. We beefing now. Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're, like you're just going to take the, the teacher that you're beefing with. That's who. You, you, that's who's gift you're going to take. Yeah, yeah. And it can only be stole how many times? Three? Something like that. There's a limit. There's a limit. But it's like, house rules everybody's got a different rule i used to work at blockbuster back when that was a thing and i would go in so for them i would go in and find the bin of like the throwaway movies and i would just get a stack of them are you kidding? and it was like dmx made a movie called beef one yeah, time DMX, like i threw oh that God. in there i'm like i was like just a uh, an anthology of movies you would never want to watch and that I'm was like, a five dollar word funny. Anthology. Anthology. That was a five dollar word. Tell you, I'm I'm overeducated. That was Flatten that was me. a was like, five dollar word. Do y'all drink at y'all staff parties? Do they like? Oh to my they... goodness, yeah, that's like yeah, a requirement. Yeah. So, oh, so y'all, so like, here's what happened. Yeah, yeah, had school. no staff party. We're like, like somebody's house. Somebody like volunteers to like okay host it. And then you go over there after, and I don't everybody think I've ever brings been stuff. To a staff we had for the really? past few years, yeah, we had it at the lodge. We had a, they, they bu- bu- booked this lodge out, you know, and it's like this country club, rather. Oh, okay, and Ooh, um, that's too bougie. Yeah, and they had like the, the the bar and everything. So this is what I used to do, because especially like last year, you know, when I was uh, teaching. What I did was because you know, of course, I was touring and teaching, so you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying my pockets was looking good. <laughs> so <laughs> my pockets was looking good. My pockets good. was looking good. So what I what I did was all my favorite teachers. I was like, okay, everybody, all all the drinks are on me. Now, of course, I could have on the cool. I could have been like, man, matter of fact, everybody round all yeah, around, round around. But what I did was I kept the open tab. So I told the, the 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 bartender, I said, okay, look, I'm gonna have an open tab. I said, now I'm gonna go around and tell only specific special people the password. <laughs> so if they come up and say this <laughs> password, put that drink on my but tab. But I don't want to go share the password. So, no, because these are my people. These are people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, don't I had about I had about I had about uh, 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 eight people, and so finally my my cool admin, I said, hey, I said, hey, go to the bar and just order whatever you want, but but after you order it, just say purple rain and wink. <laughs> <laughs> you get the password for something completely <laughs> different. <laughs> That's actually really. I said about me, right? That's actually really creative. Yeah. yeah. So I had about eight people, and the whole time they was just drinking, like, thank you, thank Not you. Purple, thank you, Purple Rain. <laughs> yeah, go up and order it and just say, like, screaming gecko after. <laughs> Wait, did y'all, is your staff party off off campus? Yeah, too? It was, usually somebody volunteers to host it, and then you, you just go to their house. Like, for years, we had the same teacher that just. You know, had a, would just have, be happy to have everybody. Would have like a clear out their garage and have like part of the garage. Is it? I was just, yeah, it was cool. Cause I mean, um, up by us, it's winter, so it's like if it's yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we're snowing, so you got to make sure it's someone who has enough indoor space to yeah. like accommodate. Again, your 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 people can own houses. That's beautiful. Um, Every every teacher they my were married s- to someone in because all the, all like, the teachers in my school live in I, studio. I'm apartments. married to a teacher. We're done. Like we're in like we're a done. studio. We're yeah. Done. Yeah. Yeah. You are I was done. Say, we're having a staff party in a studio. Yeah, we've never hosted. I've never hosted. Yeah, I feel like my school this year would do so, something like that. Like, I think it's so important. I've never, I've never done. We've never done. Because like, what, what time you Not don't get to interact? Of, you don't get to interact and in, with your with some of the faculty. Like, yeah, yeah maybe in your hallway, but yeah. like you know, there's people in, in your building that right. you like barely know their name. Right. Yo, we had this one teacher, and if she's watched, she's gonna kill me because it's actually one of my best friends. So I ain't gonna say her name. But every for the past two years, every Christmas party, she got into it. 
with somebody? With another teacher. She's like, she's filling the drinks. You stole her copy machine code. And she, no, she... <laughs> it, it, was, it was real crazy deeper than rap like that. They be, her beef would be like, why do you think you should be over the yearbook and not uh, invite not anybody the else? So, it, man... They be beefing over who over the yearbook, though, for man. real. It was two teachers yeah. beefing over that one year. It was like, how dare you take it and give it to her? She doesn't even tell right. it. Like, it's I should serious. be this over the yearbook. I'm like, I don't care about the yearbook at all. Like, when, you, when you hang around with kids of a certain age and like that's your, like, you turn into them. We start developing some of these bad habits. I'm telling like, you right now, I'm a sixth grader in my heart. That's like, right. My that's trusting right. character, like, that yeah. is me. <laughs> that's it. But that's also a gift because I feel like now that my kids are getting older, yeah. I'm like, you I, have got, a second I got an and, ear to, yeah. Second and fourth grader. Second and fourth grader. So I got an ear to the ground. I know what they're talking about and if i hear them say something that maybe a grandparent or like they're talking about slang and stuff like yeah, that yeah. i at least have this like ability to code switch i know what they're talking right, about right right you know right, what right. I, mean? I can't stand all the new slang that it came up with i'm like what is uh what he's what what the little boy say the other day uh so, so he called somebody a bot the other day i was like bro what he, like he was like this girl she liked me she was chasing me around the playground i told her to stop because she a bot and i'm like is that mean like i was like what that like a I robot guess. and he was like no nah. like she she be talking to everybody and i was yeah. like that's not what we used to call it <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute mm. what about the we definitely never called it a bot I know, we never we ain't got never nobody. Like I, don't like I don't like this look on your face. It's sus. I never it's know sus. what <laughs> it's sus. I never know what no, Casey like, is about to I say. say. No, I definitely responded to that because you 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 damn sure right. We never did that. We never it's, called it's a, it's a big it. Ship. They called you a bot. <laughs> but I was just thinking about. I was sitting here thinking like, dang, about all the the pun gifts that the admin gives the teachers. Those little gifts during the Christmas time, the holiday you time. You guys get gifts? I was about to say mine, but <laughs> no, no, they never no, gave okay, me Okay, no, gifts. no. I'm going to say gifts very loosely. Oh, okay. Because they'd be like the, the most, like, like. Oh, like super cheesy gifts. Yeah. Like, here's a brown E, and it's like actually brown E's. And I'm like, I'm going to throw this in the Oh, they give you like a, what's that, a thousand, hundred grand? Oh, oh yeah. the little payday. and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't you ever Here's the payday me. that we should have gave or something like that. Or you're worth like, a hundred fun size. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a little yeah. mini. This is actually um, similar to my pay. They'll give you like, like, like tape and be like, thank you for sticking around. Like it's just uh. like very just punny. But no, man, that's that's pretty much it, man. In, in a nutshell, we do these crazy things. It's a lot of things that happen during the holiday season that you know. My I don't like all the the sugar and the candy and all that. I know that. What you mean? I, you don't like our Well, because, man, candy. you know, the, around this time is around the end of the year is when you're trying to Faculty get ready. Lounge. Yeah, like when you're trying to get ready for like um like your New Year's resolution of losing weight, right? You're not even thinking about that. Not right no. now, dude. It's like Murderer's Row. You got Thanksgiving. <laughs> you got Christmas, Taco Tuesday. What are you talking about? It's <laughs> a Taco Tuesday. <laughs> It's like I'm trying to lose weight and they're like feeding me. Like and I'm like, I can't do it. Like I black out, I wake up with a bear claw in my mouth. I don't know what happened. That's the part I hate. (laughs) That's the part I hate. And no matter how hard you say you're gonna stay away from that teacher lounge, your ass always ends up in there. And and you take that cup and you're putting just candy pretzels and everything in that cup. Don't let somebody what's that stuff called? Not pirate's booty. That's like a weird name. But what's the the, little white uh white it's like checkers or not checkers. Pirate's booty, the can I mean the chips. Yeah, Yeah. it's gonna be good. I take I just walk out with the whole thing. That's good. Well yeah, so after a while, like you say you think you are gonna have willpower and then just turn into the honey badger and you're like, Yes. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. That's That's I still horrible. live my life like, as a honey badger over yeah, the holidays. Like, like, That's I the walk horrible in part. Tony Robbins. I open the fridge Baskin Robbins. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like some legitimate comedians. These are some real jokes. Not me just over here talking. Y'all dropping, no. dropping, set up, whatever y'all, what is it you do? No, no, set you, up, you whatever, whatever touch. Touch. I would, I, If I was in your class, I would not be able to handle it. I would not. <laughs> we, oh, play too, we play entirely That's too much. Mean, like, you, we play. Play, saying, like, we play too much. <laughs> yeah, we have we have a good time. You're just quick witted. You're just fast. Uh, guys. I'm a, I want to be a honey badger for the holidays. That's what I'm gonna do. What he said mean? a honey badger. You gonna be one for the holidays? You gonna dress up like one? No, you gonna come to school? No, man. I'm oh. just gonna, them kids will roast me out. So oh. I had to fight. You just gonna I be like, have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna be eating everything. Just honey badger holiday. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing a nature lesson, kids. <laughs> <laughs> National Geographic. And there we have it, y'all. There we have it, man. This is how we kick it off, man. Definitely one great episode, man. I'm up here wiping little 
<laughs> tears out my eyes, man. Me we too. was tripping, tripping, tripping. Did you but no, nah, man. Again, thank you guys for tuning in for another wonderful week, man. Ha! Teachers Off Duty Podcast. You already know, man. It's been your man, KC Mack, with the bow. Jay Yoder. With the bow bow. <laughs> Why did I get two bow? Because you second. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hurry up, because you're second. <laughs> Honest Teacher Vibes. Honest Teacher Vibes. Please make sure you guys follow everybody on the... I, I always want to say panel. It's not a panel. Follow everybody on the... Give it to me. What's the word? Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I find At this point, we're just doing it to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, follow everybody on the podcast. Follow the podcast, Teachers Off Duty Podcast, on all platforms. Please make sure you follow Board Teachers on all platforms. Please make sure you guys keep up with the Board Teachers Comedy Tour. Woo-hoo. That's right. Like I said, man, we're going to be in some wonderful uh, states. We're going to be in Maine, Massachusetts, Texas, Florida, Vermont, New York State, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Please make sure, like I said, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Make sure you tell your loved ones, hey, kind of hint to them, like, hey, this is what I want for, you know, my gift. So it's going to be definitely, definitely, definitely great time. But listen, make sure you guys also follow us on Supercast. That's right. We've been pushing the Supercast. We got a lot of great things that um, that happen that you guys don't get to see. And if you want to be a part of that, man, make sure you guys tap in with us on Period. Supercast. 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 And... I think that's it. Do we have anything else to talk about? Anything? No? Anything? Your tongue anything? pop is like A1. Yeah, I yeah. You started naming the states. I, I had a flashback to like sixth grade music class with the Nifty 50. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, what Arkansas. Is the Nifty 50? You've never sang Nifty you 50 murder, United Ro- States? You got Murder Row to Eat. You got Nifty 50. I can't wait Sister to Mary Jane made us sing it every week in music <laughs> class. Mary Jane was smoking Mary Jane. <laughs> Hey, Sam, we love y'all!